Okay, so I've been getting a lot of requests lately for a basic flute primer. I've, uh, some of my lessons have been a little too advanced, I think, and so I'm going to take it back to square one here, start from the beginning. Uh, I've been playing flute for about six years now, so um, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of it now. I can start teaching. So one of the first things uh, people have a problem with is the embouchure. You want to make sure your lips are nice and moist and get the right position, get a good air flow going through. You want to practice without the flute for a while first. Just blow for a while and you'll get the uh, get a feel for it. Then the uh, posture is important. See, I'm, I'm leaning back fully upright in my chair. I want to sit back completely upright. Keep your shoulders back. Then, holding the flute like this, get the fingers on each key as such. Sit back like this. You're going to want to remember the aperture, And then you're going to try and make your first tone here. Holding it straight up. And it sounds a little something like this. Um, you may have recognized that was one of Bach's uh, concertos in G minor. Uh, I find that it's easy to actually transpose it up to D, so that sounds a, it might be why it sounds a little bit different for the fingerings for this particular model of flute, uh, I think you might want to transpose most things to D. Pretty much everything you, I think you want to transpose to D. That's basically the only way you can play anything. So I'll try another one. This is what it sounds like when you play it in G. Um, you see that's a little rougher, you get a little bit of the rasp in there. Uh, and that's the basics of it, so just remember posture, embouchure, fingering, and transpose everything to D and you should be fine. <laughs> 